in a mine. This is gonna be pretty cool. We're in Minecraft! <laughs> Welcome to our wits, guys. Just chilling here. Looking out on the desert. Just nice. Silver was scraped up. We did work hard to get all that silver. Now have a look over to one of my favorite views from Calico. Down there is the Silver Valley, as we called it. And past that old dry lake is the sandy bed of the Mojave River. In those early years, drinking water for Calico had to be brought over from the river, which ran above ground at the time. It was sold for about five twenty cents a gallon. That water supply also gave birth to our neighboring town of Jacket when the railroad was built right through there. See, just like the small and narrow gauge locomotives, the big trains of those days ran off the steam from the water-filled boilers. Another one of our neighboring towns was Borate. It may no longer be visible, but when the boom ended here, some miners got jobs over there as borax miners for the Pacific Coast Borax Company. The Borate and Daggett Railroad was even built right up into Mule Canyon, making for a more efficient operation for the company. It became the last place in California where the famous 20 mule teams were ever used. Now, if you all walk over Main Street, 
You can see the same view we did as we ventured into town for supplies and relaxation. There are actually five buildings on Main Street that have been standing since the 1880s, when it was a bustling place. Calico was a real town for about 20 years. We had a post office, school, courtroom, newspaper, quite a few saloons, I can promise you that. Luckily, we even had doctors, lawyers, and a justice of the peace. My favorite place was the town hall. We had dances and all kinds of entertainment. Those were dandy, huh? Now as we get closer to the train depot, take a look down into the gully to the left of the train. These ruins are from the Chinatown, where almost 40 Chinese lived and worked at Calico during the boom years. Amy did laundry for the miners and operated a couple of restaurants. Well, folks, we hope you had fun and maybe even learned a few things on our tour today. Please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Be sure to grab all your gear, like purses, hats, glasses, and those little miners, too. Please come back and join us again. We love having you. Yes, we do. Don't forget to mosey over to the Maggie Mine. I hear there's a great tour over there, too. Where are we going next? sitting around town hall discussing names and not liking any of them. Then one man said, it's as pretty as a women's calico skirt. Right then and there, they knew they found the name, Calico. And it is true, these mountains are as colorful as a calico skirt. Welcome to the Maggie Mine, one of the most historic in Southern California. Before your journey into the mines, we'll give your eyes a chance to get accustomed to the dark as we give you a mini education on the type of mineral calico is famous for. Silver ore. Oh, ooh. We use black light in the showcase to highlight what would otherwise be pretty bland looking materials. Modern miners use ultraviolet light to sort specimens, but in the glory days of the Maggie Mine, only the sure knowledge and experience of a miner could find painters in high grade ore. Look at the rainbow of colors sprinkled over the samples in our showcase. The red and green specks are a roll mine. Each red spot represents calcite, and the green color there reveals the presence of zinc. The tunnel or drift you're standing in was dug in 1880 by two brothers expecting to find silver. After drifting more than 500 feet into the mountain without finding any sign of color or silver ore, they quit the claim. Later on, a 10-year-old schoolboy found a chunk of ore on top of the hill above us, and a fresh claim was staked out. Digging where the silver specimen had been found, $65,000 in rich ore was located. Since the pocket was only three feet from the wall of this drift, a hole was broken through the side of the tunnel, and ore was hauled right through the entrance. Now, if you keep to the right as you go down this tunnel, this will take you to Dead Man's Drift, where you'll see more of the Maggie Mine diggings. But no claim jumping now. This is Dead Man's Drift. Whoa, look at that. So nice. Here is the deepest portion of Dead Man's Drift. You can see early miners hard at work seeking that elusive silver vein. This part of the Maggie Mine was given the name Dead Man's Drift because no mine timbers were used to support the roof and wall. This drift was cut through all the rocks and in more than 100 years of use it's nearly identical to the way it looked when it was first blasted out of the mountain. Are there any creepers? Oh, I don't know. I just got my eyes so I don't 
A sixty-five thousand dollar glory hole. Wow. That's how much money was made. Yeah. Look, this is this guy's house. The brother's house. Just like you guys. <laughs> it's like that. How of the mushroom. Hey Mini Man, you think they're doing survival? I think they are. They got money. Like the dark tunnel. Pretty cool. It, I like it. We almost got hit by creepers. We <gasps> almost got hit by creepers. And I heard a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this one? Baby Rattler. Baby Rattler. Ah! <laughs> Baby Rattler. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? What's Wait, look at it. I'm trying to kill the block. Ow, it's so nice to be planning. What is this? You know why it's weird? Why? It's a mystery. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't go in the house yet. Go way over here. Okay. You got to do Minecraft? Yeah. Minecraft is way cool. Harry was underground inside a big mine, had an accident, and lost both his legs. Uh, right up to his knees gone, but that didn't bother Harry. He had these old pieces of wood Carved out some new legs and was walking around again in no time at all The problem he had one leg was shorter than the other So old Harry always stood at an angle like this and it was on that day. He built this place That's why the house was crooked. Harry was crooked Walk down for me a little bit harder walking down. Good job. Not that now I've got these four kids. We're going to show everybody some magic. Do we like magic? Yeah. 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 I can make all four of them disappear. What? The adults, you want to see that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you heard them. Say so goodbye, <laughs> Mom and Dad. Bye. No, we're not going to make you disappear. Mom and Dad need you for taxes at the end of the <laughs> I've got a better trick. I have four of Harry's pool balls. They are all going to roll downhill here. Just like they're supposed to every single time. Look at that. Oh my God. Hi, right, baby girl, you get pink. Okay. Right, take one, my young man. Take one, buddy. There you go. All right, guys, blow on your pool ball. Say the magic word abracadabra. Set your ball right here, partner, and roll in the bucket. No way! Supposed to roll downhill. Huh? Uh, put it anywhere you want. No way! Put it on the very, very end. Those are the magic pool balls of calico. Let's give these guys a big hand. Everybody pile out on the back dirt, wind and sand blowing through here. I'm in here all the time sweeping, cleaning, cleaning, sweeping. I hate housework. You guys like housework? Yay! Yay. Well, this little bit has made me tired already, so I'm taking a break because the broom is just too heavy right now. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? And you know, people always ask, how do you stand the broom up? I'm going to tell you the secret. 
A friend of mine gave this to me. His name is Harry Potter. Oh. <laughs> Hated the broom, sent it to me, and has been working pretty good since then. Uh, you two uh, young ladies, come here. All right. Hey, I've got Harry's old chair right here. You know what? He never let anybody sit in his chair until he died. And then everybody from around the world could sit in it. And that made Harry angry. His ghost came back and he put a curse on this chair. Sit down, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> right, put your knees together. Hands on your knees. Harry does not like this young lady sitting in his chair. In fact, Harry's ghost just sat down on her lap. Now, don't move your hands. Stand up. Harry's a big old fat ghost. No elbows. No elbows. Try again. Okay, stand up. Stand right up. <laughs> you know, Come on, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Did I mention this is our timeout chair? <laughs> Slide your butt out. No, lean back. Push your butt out. More, more, more. No, listen to me. Back, stand up, Papa. All right, stand up. Actually, we were in the mystery shack, and we were Minecraft. A few like hours ago, we went in Minecraft. We have been back. Is it worth a visit? Yep. What was your favorite part? The mystery shack. Why? Because it's really I don't know who sang that. What show is that? Gravity Falls. It was really fun. I liked it. What? And then there's like Mr. Shack. <laughs> Sorry.